What is up, everybody? It is Mark and John. Yo! Welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. We're getting ready to go do some spot and stock hunting in one of our favorite WMAs. If you know where it is, there's no need to say it in the comments. Let's keep it to ourselves. A big deer and he didn't go 30 yards oh my god <laughs> that was the first buck i've ever shot Woo, what a rush money that deer is dead tagged out baby <laughs> you shot one yeah hell yeah dude. i saw him go what? down Hi, little doe. Where's your daddy at? Either her real dad or her sexual daddy. Either one works. Whoever she calls daddy. Yeah, any, anyone she calls daddy is gonna be fine. <laughs> We're gonna use some of this uh, elevation because the only elevation we can get in Florida are when somebody digs a cattle bond and uh, do some glassing. We're gonna find a buck and Mark's gonna smoke it without pooping his pants. There's a pretty good chance that I'll poop my pants. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so Mark's on poop number two. Off to the next spot. We poop at every stop. Two back there. There she is. Literally what we just said is now. Things like walking straight to where we just were. Yeah, but not, and he's gonna go on the back side of that. We could circle around the other way. I don't know. He's not, he's not huge. Let's do it, let's do it. He has no clue we're here, he's far enough that we can move back. I'm gonna stay next to you so we're a single silhouette. So we spot this buck on the other side of this cattle pond, on the other side of the hill. And it's heading towards the hill, but on the other side. So we sneak up to as far as we can using these trees as cover and uh, hope that he comes close enough. And right here, even though you guys can't see him, he's about 80 yards away. But that is definitely too far to shoot with a bow. So I do what any sane hunter would do. I try to get his attention by grunting at him a little bit. But unfortunately, he is walking through some deep water and he just simply cannot hear that buck grunt no matter how hard I blow it. The buck eventually just meanders off on its own in the other direction of where we would be able to do anything about it and honestly we were just fine with that because yeah, he's not a very big buck and there's much nicer bucks on this WMA this part of the 
I think that's that doe we saw. Oh gosh, there's a doe literally on the other side here. Or a deer, I don't know if it's a doe. So, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we go find a bigger one. Yeah. I think we should work our way around here because there's some, like, there's some oak trees over there. We can use those for cover. Yeah, we'll just walk straight across this. It wasn't that deep. We watched him go. Yeah, but it's like even if we walk straight across that. No, I'm talking about this way. Yeah, yeah, we'll go that way. Y yeah, because yeah, otherwise it's still water and we're walking way out like it's yeah, going to be water if, if about the same if depth. If we spot something on the way out there we can't do anything. Yeah. Like we need to have some cover close by. We hit a couple different spots and tried to find more deer but eventually we decided to go to a different area. Some pretty sweet looking camo you've got there sir. It is pretty sweet looking camo. Yeah. They kind of look like grass too. Yeah. It's pretty versatile camo. That's a buck. Where? That's a buck. Oh that's shit. Big. Is it? Yes. Alright. Um, Did you see it? Yeah. Like well, I saw horns without the bitter eyes. Alright guys, we just spotted a buck. We're making a move. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get to the other side of this. Yeah. That thing was bedded down in those myrtles the whole time. Almost as soon as I could finish saying that into the camera, I heard something splashing around in the slough to the south of us. So we backed out of there and looped around to try and cut it off when it came out of the slough. Suddenly John spots the buck to the north and I get a quick glimpse of it before we start a mad dash to get in front of it on the other side. Of an oak hammock. Send it. Oh, no, you went like through his back. Yeah, you went. How you went too high. I don't know. I thought he was 40. He wasn't 40. I probably would have guessed 40. He wasn't 40. Shit, I should have arranged it for you, I man. Right at his throat. I didn't expect him to be standing right fucking there. Oh my god, that's a stud. Fuck. Oh, I'm flum on the film in the sky right now. Come on, there he is. I didn't hit him? No, I saw that arrow fly right over his head. He just calmed down. I know. Five 
You still have him? Yeah, I'm still filming him. He's just relaxed. He's right there. On an ethical level, we wanted to make sure that this buck wasn't hit better than we thought, so we went after it. And to our surprise, when we got to this clearing, we spotted him walking on the other side. So here we are hustling to try and get behind him again. Not a good shot, but you. Okay. You hit him though. He just went there. I think you backstrapped him. Yeah, I might have hit that artery back here though. Maybe. I just saw him go back that way. Dude. Dude. Dude, give me some skin. You fucking got a shot though. Like, that was horrible. That's okay though. 43 yards this is a long shot. It was more than 43 by the time I shot. No, he was he was walking pretty broadside. Why that deer is acting so weird? He's, dude, like he's so just been chill. dogging does. I guarantee he's you. Probably he's probably just like, beat. The, dude, the rut just ended, dude. Sometimes <clears> these, <throat> these bucks are just run. Stay right here. I'm gonna walk up and see if I can figure out where your arrow is. And let's see if we got guts on it. If it's got guts on it, we're backing out. And yeah, yeah. Cypress is gonna find this deer. I'm coming with you. Can I come with you? Well, I just want you to stay here so that you can tell me approximately where it was. I saw your truck when you shot it the first time. Like literally, you could see your truck when you shot your first arrow. Dude, I can't believe we caught up to that deer twice. Well, three times, really. Yeah, that's insane, dude. You marked it on the map, right? Where you just shot? Where, just where the shot, where he was standing when I shot him. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, tell us what happened. We're not gonna find it. <laughs> that is correct. Um, I, uh, I hit him high in the back, and uh, the arrow basically bounced off what looks to be the spine, uh, and literally like cut, bounce, and flew. <clears throat> it just basically left like a big gash on his back. Yeah, it like above his hip here kind of it looked like maybe it was uh, maybe a little bit in front of it and uh it was definitely not your best work no far from my best work but it happens pretty long about it. he was a stud it's okay dude it was day one we have three days left despite the fact that we were pretty certain that the hit wasn't lethal we wanted to go track it anyway so we loaded up my dog and headed out there Oh, you mind if I get a little video of him? We got footage of us shooting him too. Like we were filming the whole thing. It's a good buck. Yeah, so it just grazed his back. Yeah. So you see my. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it did. Yeah. Here, watch, watch this arrow. Watch it bounce off his back strap. It like hits the spine and bounces straight up. But we figured it was. I see it. I mean, it's a 360 camera, but I'll like. Um, yeah, we're, we're just gonna talk about the deer. I'll I'll edit out you guys. 
Dude, you took a chunk out of that deer, man. Look at that hole. Freaking dead meat. It didn't That's die, though. That's crazy, dude. What's up, everybody? Uh, I just realized as I'm editing this video that we didn't do an outro for the video. So I think we got to explain to you what exactly just happened. So basically, when we drove in with my dog to go and track this deer, um, you know, to make sure that it was, in fact, going to live, um, when we pulled up to park, there was actually a buggy there and they were loading our buck into the buggy. Now, I say our, I just mean the one that we shot at. It is not our buck. We didn't kill it. We didn't make a good shot on it, and that deer would have lived. Uh, it's possible that it, it you know, could have gotten infected and, and that it wouldn't have lived uh, in the long run. So we were actually really relieved to hear that these guys spotted the buck, um, you know, standing out in the field, snuck in and put a, a good heart shot on it and killed it. We congratulated them, and we got out there. It was just the beginning of the hunt, and we still had time to get after it. And I will say that in next week's episode you'll get to watch me actually get a buck down. So make sure that you're subscribed and we'll catch you in the next video.